Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And I am back with a couple new products. I thought we'd go ahead and get started. Started off with the True Match and C1, cool one. Added a little bit of True Match and C2.5. So that's what I mixed to go ahead and do uh, this look today. And then what I did go ahead and add in was the True Match concealer. This one is in Ellen, so um, that's the shade that I have on there. And then as far as what I went ahead and did on bronzer, went ahead and got the NYX, and this is the All Buttered Up. It's the second lightest shade, and it actually has some red in it. So that's what I have on there, and this is what that looks like. So that's what's on that part. Uh, as far as new products, I picked up the ColourPop, um, the Shy formula, and this is the new liquid formula. As far as the way that it's swatching, it's kind of swatching like that. There we go. Yeah, that's the way that it's swatching. And as far as going ahead and blending it out, that's the Shy shade. There you can see. So, um, I've been finding that it only takes one dot to get the whole thing done and that they actually are really, really smooth when they go on. So, the other new products I brought on were, um, or that I found, were actually over at Dollar Tree. And so these are dupes, and Dollar Tree is doing a lot of dupes right now. And these are dupes for the final, um, is it Maybelline? Yeah, it's Maybelline that does the vinyl lip colors. And so I picked up a couple. There wasn't much left when I was going ahead and doing that. But um, yeah, this is one of the colors. So again, they're supposed to be dupes of the um, vinyl by, I'm thinking it's Maybelline. And these are over at Dollar Tree. You can pick them up for $1.25. And yeah, I do have to admit that I've been having some sinus problems. So my skin's a little drier now than it usually is. But yeah, I think that's pretty. In fact, we could put a little bit of a gloss on there and see if we could get it really glossy. Give me just a second here. How about this one? So this is the NYX Butter Gloss Bling. We'll go ahead and put that on top. pretty. That's really pretty. And so this is one of the new products. Um, it'll be in the makeup area and they all look like uh, vinyl but instead they say um, yeah, color on there. They also have a product that is a lip gloss and this one, when I first put it on, my le the, the lips were just chapping and chapping and chapping, and so it didn't feel that great to me. This time when I put it on, it went on 100 times better, and it has some slip in it, and it's a really pretty color. Um, but just to let you know, with uh, these ones, you might want to go ahead and put some Vaseline or some lip gloss or something underneath these ones because um, when my lips weren't doing too well and chapping, yeah, it, they didn't, my lips did not like this stuff when they were chapping and stuff, but I did go ahead and put a, you know, a thin lip gloss or the Laneige product underneath it and then it worked a lot better. The other one, which is this one, which is the lip gloss, um, 
I was able to put it on right away and it didn't cause me a problem at all. So, uh, this has a lot of color and a lot of moisture. And let's see. So this one has a lot more moisture in it. It is a lip gloss. And I definitely as much um, pigment payoff as the other one does. And like I said, I found both of these over at Dollar Tree. Um, forgot the actual group, but they were in packaging and they looked just like this. So I know that there are a whole bunch of other shades. I just haven't found them yet. So I think I'm going to put some of the NYX Butter Gloss Bling with the, the glitter on top of this. Hmm. And now we've gone ahead and yeah, that'll work. Okay, so as far as what I went ahead and did for the eyes today, I got out a whole bunch of my Look Z um, eyeshadows. And Look Z left a note, their website isn't working right now, but they left a note saying they're reformulating and they're actually moving into mass production. So hopefully they'll be back soon. I started off with the Monarch today which is a really pretty duo crown. And uh, yeah, it has a red to a gold to a brown kind of uh, duo crown. And I put that right in the crease. And then as far as what I actually did on the lid, I went ahead and put, what is this? Razzle Dazzle. So I put Razzle Dazzle on the lid and I thought that that turned out pretty cute. I also did go ahead and use uh, Big Bang and I put that right in the very center of the eye to just go ahead and make it pop a little bit. And then <clears throat> they're in a Z palette. The Z palette is from AOA and it's just a matter of getting a hold of them. There's not a lot to hold on to. So uh, chocolate cherry which is this color right here and this is what I have up here and down here so yeah uh, the looks of these shades they always sell them um, in individual pans and again hopefully that they are getting re um, that they're getting ready to go into mass production and they're rebranding. So I'm hoping that that's what's happening. And they have a lot of different uh, multi-chromes and duochromes and fun stuff. And so that's what I have on there. I did go ahead and use the uh, one. Yeah, these um, eyeliners from, they're just t starting to get a bit old and they're from 10, Tim you, you can get a pack of 5, 10, 20. And um, what I'm finding so far is that they do have the um, right on the bottom here. You can pull and this is actually, it'll go ahead and sharpen your pencil for you. And I'm finding that I'm needing to do that to go ahead and keep these colors moving. Ooh. Well, that didn't work at all. And I just lost that one. Oops. But yeah, it takes the tip off and so they're easier to work with. Um, other than this and this. Oh, the other new project. Okay, so these are new products. Um, this ColourPop Blush in Shy is definitely a new product. So I hope that you can see that. So we can 
put it on a little bit heavier. I only used one dot. We'll go in with one more dot. Okay, so So they have a lot of color to them, and they, yeah, it's uh, a lot of color. The other uh, new product that I have is from Essence. I picked this up over at Ulta, and so the <laughs> it's called Call Me, you know, you know, Call Me Queen, you know, Call Me Queen. And that's the name of it, Call Me Queen. Do you remember all of those t-shirts back in the day where it's um, it's good, to, uh, they had sayings on them. It's good to be queen of everything. And then another one um, was, and it's amazing to be princess of quite a lot. And they were on uh, t-shirts and they were on mugs, coffee mugs and stuff like that. And I don't know who to give credit to, but these, and so you add something in like this on there, call me Queenie, call me Queen. And it's just sort of like, yeah. And so far I've been really impressed with um, this particular formula. It is really, lifting, separating, and giving a lot of length to my lashes. So, and it's also doing a really good job with the bottom lashes as well. And um, let's see, we went over the AOA and we went through all of these. That, I was gonna just sort of powder here real quick. And this is the Beauty Pie Triple Glow Powder, since I didn't quite finish the look. And this has not been um, a daily wear test or a timed test or anything. I just playing with these products for the very first time. Well, the looks of these shadows I've played with before, but most everything else I'm using for the very first time. So, yeah, um, don't know exactly how it's gonna work, but it looks like it's working. So, Hopefully that got it all blended together and all that good stuff. And yeah, it's a fun look. It's almost a nude look, not quite, but you know. 